And now I would like to talk about sleep. Because we could go to such a great extent and we could um, change our whole lifestyle dramatically and become raw and still wouldn't feel good. So I want to uh, talk to you how by just improving your sleeping conditions you can dramatically improve your health. Whoever created us, creator, was very, very, very genius. He predicted that we would try to abuse our body as much as we can. So he predicted that we would take drugs and alcohol and smoke and create stress and just plainly dis abuse our body. So he created a magical um, curse, which is sleep. He said, whatever you're doing, for forever you will be cursed to sleep, to lay unconscious without being able to move for eight hours every day for the rest of your life. You cannot smoke when you sleep, you cannot overeat when you sleep, you cannot drink when you sleep, you cannot take drugs, you cannot watch TV, you cannot do anything. You have to sleep every day. And why did he do that? Because he cared for us. He said, no matter what you do in the daytime, when you sleep, you will heal. I will enable your body to heal you, to heal itself like the best surgeon in the world. And so when we sleep in, we're healing. And if you sleep in properly, then you could almost completely recover from whatever you do in the daytime. But do we sleep properly? I find out, I found that we don't. Well, number one, our body is vibrating with a certain frequency which is about 12 megahertz per minute, or 12 megahertz per second, which is, a, it's a very, very slow, it's, it's love, it's from David Icke, I read it from David Icke. The same frequency, trees, um, the nature, animals, 12 megahertz. That's why when we uh, hug the trees, we slowly begin to vibrate with the same frequency and we come down. When we're in stress, it's 40. When we stressed, and usually when we act at work or in traffic, it's 40. When we watch TV instantly, 40, 40. <laughs> then you feel unsafe, and you want to protect yourself. You feel like scared anybody could do anything, harm to me. But when it's 12, you feel one with everybody. You relax. You don't expect anybody to jump and do something to you. When you sleep, it of course has to be 12 in order for you to heal. Do you understand that? That's, that's when body could reach homeostasis. There's a natural balance when everything becomes healing and normal. And here is, we put this alarm clock next to our head, which is vibrating with 250 megahertz. And do we realize we have to remember that our body has, um, is not over right here. It has this energy and the whole field is vibrating with 12 megahertz. And if we have this alarm clock right next, electrical alarm clock right next to the head, which is vibrating like very, very fast, does it let your body heal? No, it destroys the whole healing. How many of you have a large clock next to your head? Honestly, honestly, thank you, bravely, wonderful. And some people don't have time, they're so busy, they don't have time to turn off the computer in the bedroom. How many of you have that? Computer in your bedroom, and the music station, that TV that has a huge, it has minimum six meters. And if it's on, if it, it, well, if you plug it off, that's fine. But if it's on, we just, you know, you just were watching and you fall, fell asleep and it's still, it's, it's quiet, but it's by making you vibrate differently. And uh, there could be the, the wall here, there could be a wall, and here's kitchen, and maybe neighbor's kitchen, and there's microwave in the kitchen, which is another six meters, and you don't know, but it's really, it's like 650 megahertz. It's, it's, it's very high. So you need to come home and research in your bedroom and what's on the other side of the wall, what's going on, that you really don't have any electrical uh, features work, uh, working when you're sleeping. That's number one. That's easy to do. 
Okay, number two, we need to have fresh air. When God created Earth, there were 55% of oxygen in the air, according to Elizabeth Baker. 55% of the air was oxygen. How much do we have today? 12 to 19. It's depending where you live, in the city, in the country. In the bedroom, it is six. Do you know why? 6% of oxygen, oxygen in the bedroom? Because we're very, very busy and we don't have time to open the window. And for 8 hours or 9 hours or 10 hours, we breathe in the same air, in and out, in and out. And finally, do you understand that when there is lack of oxygen in the body, then normal cells transform into cancer cells? And do you understand when there is abundance of oxygen, then cancer cells, they die and the body grows more normal cells. Oxygen is uh, directly connected to our well-being and not to having cancer. Even Rockefeller knew that, knew that in, in 1900. In, in 1800. So oxygen is very important. When I learned that about oxygen, when I read that book, uh, I just started, I, I said, Igor, what can we do about this? And he said, I'm thinking about also, I'm so lucky we're just the same people with him. So we decided to build some structure and he built something between gazebo and shed outside. And in Oregon we have six months of raining. It just has opening under the roof and a big window and a big door. And we, since then, we whole family, we sleep outside. And we don't have no electricity in that. And my sleep improved right away. It's wonderful. We try, whenever we travel, we try to sleep outside. <laughs> um, <clears throat> day before yesterday, we were sleeping at Lorena's house outside. And then it started to mist in the morning. We just, uh, we just pulled the tarp over our heads. <laughs> and we were just sleeping inside of this den. Igor and I. <laughs> okay, number three. Don't eat right before you go to bed because your digestive organs, they do two big jobs, digestion and evacuation. They cannot do those two in the same time. They do digestion first and then evacuation second. And both of them take several hours, especially if you eat something heavy like nuts or if you eat potato or meat or any the cooked food, it takes much longer to digest. For example, you eat something at 10 o'clock in the evening that takes to digest four to six hours. Then at two or three in the morning, your body begins to evacuate. And then so your you know, you know, organs don't have a chance to rest. Maybe they didn't even finish evacuating this to the lower parts of the intestines by the time you wake up. Then you will, will wake up not rested because you didn't really rest. And your face will be swollen and you will have a heavy head. So try to eat something light before you go to bed. and. Eat it enough time before so it digested before you go to bed like if you want to eat some fruits at six o'clock that's that's good and then they'll be digested by nine number four you need to sleep at night the grave shift graveyard shift is really deadly do you call it this in Canada grave yard shifts even if they pay 100 times more, they're still very deadly. Because um, all our organs, they work certain time of the day or certain time of the night, certain time. For example, I only remember that pancreas is the organ that pumps adrenaline for us to, uh, to function. The adrenals, they shut off at 11 p.m. and they stay closed until 1. That is why at 11 p.m. approximately, no matter what you do, you begin to feel so sleepy. Your eyes just close. Even if you're driving or reading, ugh, your body really telling you. Copyright with it. It's telling you, hey, now 